Let's turn to my panel this week. Joining me are the Mail's diary editor, Richard Eden, and his Mail on Sunday counterpart, Charlotte Griffiths. Welcome to you both. Thanks for being here. Now, Richard, the cover of Time is a really prestigious honour, isn't it? It really is. I mean, you think of all the momentous um, covers of Time magazine throughout history, and there's been some wonderful ones. So it's a great honour to be on there. And question is, I suppose, do they deserve it? Well, well um, you kind of, I feel like you might have a view on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it, you know, influence is such an interesting thing, isn't it? I mean, certainly, you know, Meghan's very influential indeed, mm -hmm. but over her husband. Um, <laughs> in, in <laughs> terms of over, oh, Richard. <laughs> yeah. In terms of over other people, I'm not sure. I mean, particularly back in, you know, in this country now, I'm not sure how much influence they really have. I think over the past year, you could argue they've been a very bad influence, you know, in terms of how you um, react to your family, how you behave, um, how people um, treasure sort of traditions and, and that sort of thing. You know, they've been trying to overthrow um, everything, really. I, you know, I'd argue um, I think they have been a, a bad influence in many ways. It's so hard to measure influence now, because these days, with them, I mean, because these days people have um, social media accounts, and then you can literally say, you know, I have 30 million followers, but they've cancelled theirs, haven't they? So, haven't they? So, so it's actually how many column inches they get, and it's quite a lot, especially in ours. And they are written about and talked about a lot, and um, so I'd say they deserve to be on there. What do you think about the pictures? Okay, so the pictures like very are looking, airbrushed. It, slightly, <laughs> it, it's, it's giving me Madame Tussauds vibes, I've got to say. I it's mean, very stilted. How green is that suit? <laughs> I can't imagine it was that green before the um, airbrushes got to it. Yes, but, you know, they're, they're very strategic people. Did she you? has got her wide leg stance going on, hasn't she? She's got her trousers on. She's wearing the trousers. I did have a chuckle this morning that someone, some wag had come up with the joke that Harry looks like her hairdresser and they're staring into the mirror while he <laughs> explains her layers. What he's done to I her. love that one. <laughs> and I clearly, mean, she's had a lot of hairdressing done. That I don't know. And look, I'd say and look who's in charge here. I mean, you know, you've got the, um, you know, the brother of the future king just sort of hanging on onto um, his wife there. There's no doubt that it's Meghan who's centre stage. Well, isn't yeah, it? that's one interpretation. But I also think that it's, you know, I think Harry's been looking for an anchor for for some time, and yeah. I feel like this Ooh. is like his his protective sort of stance, you know, yeah. he's, he feels a bit shielded by her. And it's nothing shocking, we've all known all along that this is their, this is how they work as a couple. He is relying on her as his anchor. So, oh here we go, nice they're stroll sticking through to their message, message, aren't they? <laughs> Lord of the Rings is what it reminded yeah. me of. Um, oh. I thought, I couldn't believe these pictures were genuine when I saw them. I mean, where were they taken? What do you mean? The, in the jungle? Thought they were genuine. It, as it looked to like what? something satirical. I mean, oh, maybe right. there's been so many memes online and everything since. That, well, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Twitter this afternoon, I must, I must admit. Uh, the <laughs> memes are coming in thick and fast and they are great. <laughs> and what do you think about Harry? I don't know if it's the Californian sun, but um, Harry's looking rather... Tanned. Well, tanned, but sort of like fuller in the hair department. I know. I mean, could he have had plugs? Dare I, <laughs> dare I speculate? No, there's something the about Californian sunshine. Yeah. That it's Californian sunshine that's bringing that hair I'm sure you're back. right. I'm yeah. sure and the you're red right. complements <laughs> the green suit, you see. So they've really thought about it from a colour perspective. Yeah, so he's, he's, he's got his good... He's, he's had his colours done. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really they, had about, they had about five stylists for the shoot. I mean, and, and as well as Megan, I'm sure, had many of her own opinions. Yeah. So it was extremely well thought through, this, uh, this photo shoot, but I imagine. How can we take this list seriously, though? I mean, if it's a, about genuine influence, you know, you look at the Queen, who's, um, you know, advised so many prime ministers over the years. She's head of state of all these countries. Surely she should be on the list. How well, can you have a? I mean, a list you know, like you know you, on the other hand, they genuinely are the most talked about people on yeah. the planet right now. I mean, look Whether at us that's every all week. good, I don't True. know. But, yeah. but do are. you think this time cover represents the divide between? the coverage of them in the, and, and the feeling towards them in America as opposed to here. Definitely, because the Americans lap this kind of stuff up and we just can't. There's something so British about me anyway. Mm. I can't take this stuff as seriously as the Americans can. Um, and I don't know if there's something about being British and, um, <laughs> I don't know, unsentimental. We can sort of qu see right through it and, and see how it's sort of strategic, we I don't, feel We don't like. do Ernest very well, do we? We don't do Ernest very well. well. The Americans say, yeah. love it. Yeah. I should say there's a lot of Americans that feel very strongly about this because, you know, if we say, oh, the Americans love it, well, lots of them don't. You know, they've got, there have been a few articles recently that were very negative about 
Harry and Meghan. I think yeah. certainly they seem to divide opinion in the States, you know, just as much as yeah. here. And here we are talking coast. about them again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so but now if, with Harry's birthday this week, Richard, were you surprised that the Queen led the well wishes? Um, no, I mean, you know, she's always been keen to um, make the point that she's um, above all his, his grandmother and um, I mean, it did all seem, it's very kind of formulaic, though. It's sort of, you know, on Twitter, happy birthday, Prince Harry. With a balloon emoji, thing. not yeah. like lots of kisses and gushing. <laughs> well, I guess nobody wants the story that you didn't say anything. Of course, it's so yeah. obvious. They can't not say anything, can they? It does reflect the fact that the, the royal family do want to keep them on site as much as possible. Just turning to Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, for a minute, it's sort of like visiting military personnel. Do you think, Charlotte, that that's the kind of thing that Harry slightly wishes he was still doing. Um, we know that that's exactly the kind of thing Harry wishes he was still doing because he said, I want to carry on doing military commitments with the royal family. And he'll be saying, look, it's not my fault. It's, it's the royal family and the men in suits who didn't let me carry on doing stuff like this. I think it will really touch him, especially because um, it was an Afghanistan related mm. thing and he obviously went to Afghanistan. I think he'll be thinking more for you men in suits because I could have been doing that and I mm. have a genuine connection with Afghanistan and you could have been using me but you didn't. Mm. And I know Kate's brilliant but she didn't serve so he would have been a better choice I would have thought. Well, I'd be missing the um, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge over the summer. It's great to see her back at work and um, carrying out these type of duties and I think there is something like the Queen, there's something reassuring about <laughs> seeing her about and um, doing these roles again. And yes, obviously it would be nice to have Harry, but I think when he sees these type of images, he probably feels a bit of sadness mm -hmm. about it himself.